What is going on guys and today we're finally going to answer the questions all surrounding what the showers are like at basic training. Now, before I get started, I do want to just mention real quick, because I think it might be a little bit visible. Uh, I just got back from an FTX with RTC, my final FTX, and I had face paint and all this stuff on, and I tried to get it all off, so if there's like black splotches or like, you know, it's just something looks weird, and you're like, what the heck is that on your face? It's probably still leftover face paint if things just look all weird or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that real quick, because I'm pretty sure people are going to just say stuff in the comments like, why is... Why does that look so weird? So this is one of those more odd question topics that I've gotten in the past that I've made a video on like the laundry, what is the laundry like and when do you do laundry at basic training? And in this video I wanted to cover several of the different questions and topics that you guys have asked me over the past several months about showers. Believe it or not, people ask about showers a lot and all the different things that encompass showers, right? And the first thing I wanna talk about, probably one of the most common things, is the privacy with showers, right? So a lot of people have this thing in their mind with the military, whenever you take showers in the military, you're just you know in a big open room, everybody's just naked together. Uh, so there's really very minimal to no privacy whatsoever whenever it comes to you know the armies and showers and stuff like that. That is just a thought or a, a vision, a visual representation of showers in the military that a lot of people have and so they're really curious about that at basic training because maybe you're somebody who's just not used to that type of environment i definitely was not raised that way to where you know you're just super comfortable just you know being naked around other guys or whatever that's not how i was raised and a lot of other people are the same way other people might just be like this is really weird so the showers at basic training should be individual showers with shower curtains right so there might be you know one shower that has like a rip shower curtain or a shower curtain that doesn't open up all the way but you should have showers, individual showers, and shower curtains whenever you're at basic training, but you're still going to have to sacrifice some of that you know, privacy or whatever that you might not be comfortable with because there will be people who are comfortable, you know, just free balling it, walking around the showers or just, you know, be, you know, drying off or whatever. Uh, same thing with the females, right? So females kind of the same thing, at least from what I've heard, obviously I've never been in like a female shower thing, uh, but it's gonna be the same thing for the females in the showers, you know, the bathrooms and everything should be the exact same. And you shouldn't really have to worry about too much of people just literally walking around naked. You should not be doing that in the army because of all the sharp stuff. You want to be very careful about that. So if you are the kind of person who is just super comfortable with themselves and you're perfectly fine just walking around naked without a towel around other guys, I strongly recommend that you do not do that at basic training because of all the sharp stuff because you need to be considerate of other people who are not comfortable with that. But when you are asking the question of your privacy and stuff like that, you should have your own individual showers at basic. So are the showers going to be hot at basic training? And for the most part, the answer is yes, right? It's not like they uh, are always gonna be cold water or whatever, but I have heard of several circumstances whenever people have gone an entire basic training cycle where the hot water did not work and they just had to deal with cold water the entire time. But it's just gonna be normal showers, right? So you should have hot water, the sink should have hot water. All that should be good to go, but if for some reason, you know, the hot water heater or something is broken and then it doesn't get fixed, you might have to go sometime or the whole cycle without that, but I would not worry about that. That's something that you're not gonna be able to control whatsoever. And the next big question I get pertaining to showers at basic training is how long are you actually going to have to shower and really when can you shower, okay? So uh, there's gonna be two different times you're gonna be allowed to shower whenever you're at basic training. In general, I'm sure some things could change. You know, if you get back to the barracks in the middle of the day, maybe you have the opportunity to do that. But for the most part, the times you're gonna get to shower at basic training is going to be in the morning after PT and at night. But there's gonna be a difference here. So if you have time in the morning to shower after PT and before breakfast chow, you will have the opportunity to, to do that, but you probably will be on a very strict time hack, right? So if you're in the downstairs formation immediately after PT, you might only have five minutes to run upstairs, change into your OCP uniform, and then come back downstairs. So you're probably not gonna have time to jump in the shower, but uh, as far as the time you know, length goes in the mornings for PT, I would say, or after PT, I would say you probably have around 30 seconds to two minutes to shower after PT. Now you might say, oh my gosh, that's not long at all. It doesn't really matter because number one, you're gonna be sweaty anyways, you're gonna be doing stuff anyways. The real purpose for showering after PT is, you know, especially if you're at Sand, Sand Hill at basic training, 
training uh, at Fort Benning, you're gonna have sand all over you, right? So you only wanna jump in the shower just super quick just to get all the sand off of your head and stuff. So it's not like gonna be a legit, just you know, full on shower. So showering after PT, unless for some crazy reason you have longer than just you know a couple of minutes, you're probably gonna have anywhere from just literally a few seconds of jumping in the shower or two minutes. And the next opportunity you're gonna have to shower at basic training is going to be at the end of the day. And in my experience, theoretically, you could take a shower at the end of the day really as long as you want, but you're really not gonna be taking super long showers because you're probably gonna to wanna to go to bed. So if the duty day is over, you know, after, you know, 18, 1900 or so, and then lights out is at 2100, you might have those two hours or so but you're probably not gonna to get to shower until like right before you get to go to bed, right before lights out or after lights out. That's usually sometimes whenever you can do it. Uh, but at the end of the day, there's you're not gonna have a time hack or anything, so you can really go in the shower for five, 10 minutes, actually, you know, use you know shampoo or whatever and, and body wash to just actually clean yourself. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, but you know, in the mornings, you're gonna have just, you know, literally like a minute to shower. At the end of the day, you can actually shower again and you know, take five to 10 minutes or whatever, depending on your scenario. Maybe your drill sergeants are gonna be super strict and they don't let you do that. Maybe they still have strict times at the end of the day, but for the most part, I think you guys are gonna have plenty of time at the end of the day to shower. I do wanna mention two things before I finish off this video. There are going to be circumstances whenever you guys do these things called shower drills, which is basically whenever you jump in the shower and immediately jump out. This generally happens at the beginning of basic training. Maybe you haven't earned the privilege or the right to actually shower for a longer period of time, and the drill sergeants will just be jumping you guys in and out of the shower, just you know, you know, literally like sub 10 second showers. So that could be something that happens to you, but that's not gonna happen to you probably <laughs> the entire time at basic training, but that is also a possibility that could happen to you. And the other thing that I wanna mention is all this stuff that I'm talking about is, you know, the showers at basic training. This also includes AIT. So when you get to AIT, you should have, you know, showers that are gonna be private or whatever to where you're not gonna have to worry about, you know, taking a shower with multiple different people in the shower. But this is only in the TRADOC environment. Once you get out into the actual real army, the real military or whatever, that's not gonna be the case, right? There are gonna be circumstances whenever you come across a situation when there's gonna be, for, for my example, you know, one shower head and then four shower things coming off the side. So you're going to have to take a shower with other people around you, right? So you're kind of gonna have to get over that fear or that nervousness unless you just don't want to shower or unless you want to, like some people do, you know, just, you know, wait until everybody goes to sleep in the shower. So if you're really, you know, nervous or self-conscious or whatever, uh, you can do that. But there are going to be circumstances after the trade-off environment, which is the training environment. So after basic training and after AIT uh, and all these schools and stuff that you'll go to, there's going to be situations at some point in your military career where you're probably going to have to uh, lose some of that privacy whenever you do go and take showers. So that is it for this video. That pretty much covers most of the things that you guys have asked me about showers pertaining to showers at basic training. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you want to stick around some more videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better. If you guys are not already, follow me on social media. You guys can go ahead and do that. The links are, you know, right here. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and do that. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys uh, later. Yeah.